you guys and welcome to another video. I hope you all are doing really well and today I will review two perfumes that I was offered by the brand owner of the niche perfume boutique online that is called Equacion Natural and it is based in Malaga, Spain. So the first thing that I did when I received the email about collaboration was going on their official website just to check it out, how it looks and which kind of fragrances do they care. But I I need to tell you that I was definitely amazed by the range of uh, brands that they offer just because there are so many of my favorites like uh, Francesca Bianchi, Naomi Gatzer, Imaginary Authors, Renier Perfumes, Nishane, Dusita, Svensk Perfumes and the list goes on. So I was really excited to try out two perfumes uh, because I didn't even hear about them, they were new to me and those are limited editions that uh, the brand owner of uh, Equacion Natural Pedro collaborated on with uh, the French brand called Oritza L. Le Grand that I have never heard about before and these are very special perfumes. These are limited editions and they are inspired by Semana Santa translated in English Easter week in Malaga and it is a religious celebration in which frankincense and myrrh are wildly used among other ingredients and when I received both fragrances I just couldn't open them without sharing how gorgeously they look with you guys because for me these are like Christmas gifts they are so beautifully wrapped I love these both so let's just open them and while I'm doing so I will also tell you about fragrances so let me know if you have ever experienced anything from this brand if so which fragrances would you recommend and uh, I definitely highly recommend you to check out uh, the official website of Equacion Natural just because there are so many fragrances that I love that you can purchase there so if you live in Europe or somewhere in the near and you're looking for amazing shop where you can get indie and niche perfume I definitely recommend you that one but let's open it by the way this is the box it's sort of cool it reminds me of um, some something what it reminds you of guys so this fragrance is called Oracion if I'm not wrong and uh, here is how it looks oh my god this is such a big bottle and it is literally the first time I'm seen it so maybe I should spray it right now tell you what I think about it and then I will wear it all day and come back with you with my final thoughts so this is Rifti Osain or yes or Asyong and uh, wow it's very fresh Mm, it's incensey it's a little bit masculine it's very clean it smells like fresh air with pine needles maybe even with a leather undertone it smells very fresh like literally like a cold winter morning oh my god it's so interesting or as young wow I would say that if you love really like clean smelling perfumes if you enjoy something resinous uh, that would smell quite um, sharp but at the same time there is something like a forest uh, and lightly woody like it's not a dark type of woody fragrance it's a very like aromatic woody perfume oh my god and it smells like a cold winter morning so the other thing that I wanted to show you guys are this amazing um, incense things like I just adore them. I don't know from which side should I open because one time I opened and uh, it went all over my home but maybe this time it will be better so I hope you can see this is how it looks and this is like religious resins and stuff wow it smells like church but like such a beautiful church somewhere in the middle of the forest Mmm, it smells like precious essences and like oriental perfumes with incense. Do you like those type of fragrances? Please let me know, you guys. And while I 
let this fragrance sit and I just love how cold and really like cool it is. I want to open this one with a dark red bow. So I really like these boxes. They remind me of something, maybe like playing cards or just some games from my childhood. So this is the second fragrance that I was offered and it is called Malaga Santa. So it should definitely transport me to Spain around Easter time. Wow, this is definitely... Ooh, I love this one. This is my favorite. <laughs> yes, this is a favorite of mine. It's like, mmm, it's sweet. Is it sweet? Like, it's strangely sweet, but at the same time, like, resinacy and balmy. Ooh, and, and it is a little bit more feminine. Like, I would say that uh, Oracion is a bit more masculine and Malaga Santa is more feminine. Oh my god, I just love it. Mmm, it's like sweety and uh, woody and wow, it smells like something so familiar. I'd like to know the notes of it, but it definitely smells like a holy smoke, but so chic and not like churchy incense, if you know what I'm talking about. If you are more into fresh fragrances, I would recommend you Oracion. And if you want just a hint of sweetness, Oh, and something that will smell just like a divine call. It smells like something so precious and pure and um, definitely like a higher type of love. Yeah, oh my god, I'm so happy that I have this fragrance in my collection because I don't have fragrances like these. I don't gravitate towards really incensey, smoky, churchy, religious smelling perfumes just because... I don't really like scents like those, but these are really pleasing just because they're not harsh, they're not intense, they don't really make you feel that you are in a traditional church, if you know what I'm talking about. These are just like very modern churches. So yeah, oh my god, I really, really love them. I have something else to show you guys. And while I'm trying to open it, I'd like to know which type of incense perfumes do you prefer. If you have flares, you can definitely comment them down below. And this smells more like a traditional incense or resins or those things that um, are burned in the church for religious rituals. I just find that this... Um, presentation is so authentic it just makes the experience even more realistic so so far so good oh my god i just can't even stand how fresh and clean oracion smells i'll also spray it on me oh my god i just smell so good right now such amazing surprises but let me give them a little bit of time and i'll come back and tell you how they wear how they project which reaction i get on them so we'll see each other in a second so guys i'm back with the final update and let me tell you that it's official that i am in love with both malaga santa and oracion and i know you probably think it's crazy to fall in love with perfumes that i've been trying only for a couple of hours but i'm surprised myself it's true. The amazing feeling that these give me is indescribable because that light, classy, elegant, mysterious trail of scent is great and I'm so happy that I took the risk to review these fragrances because as I've told you normally I'm not into full-on incense perfumes just because they are not that wearable for me but after these I'm in the mood for more so if you could recommend me your favorites that would be amazing and with that being said you guys I want to tell you that these are my favorites right now they go really well with the weather and i'll be wearing them for the next couple of days but i just wanted to let you know how these develop and oras young that i first described as a masculine perfume is not that masculine anymore because of the floral twist in there that makes it unisex so it smells like a cold winter morning in the middle of a piney forest where is a beautiful church and in front of the church grow white flowers that are covered under the snow so it smells of clean incense it is amazing with some beautiful pure florals in there and it is a favorite of mine between these two however malaga santa is great too it smells just of a warmer type of resin such as myrrh and benzoin and both are unisex in my opinion and do you remember profume uh, means 
perfumum, like throat smoke, and it is just a very popular tradition to burn those resins in many cultures, so let me know if you're familiar with those type of scents, and I'll be back soon with a final update on the performance of these wonderful perfumes that don't give me the feeling that I work in the church and I really appreciate it. Okay. As I promised, I'm back to tell you how these perfumes project, and Benny joined yeah, us. Yeah, I joined. Because... <laughs> The first thing, one of the first things he commented on when we saw each other today was on my perfume. And I was pretty amazed. It is always a good sign when Benny tells me that mm. I smell good. It's a very special occasion that I say something like that because usually I don't say anything about Yana's perfumes or yeah. something. Imagine that. Sorry. So, yeah, they yeah. definitely stood out to him, right? Did yeah. they? Yeah, the one. One. One of them. Okay. Yes. Right. So, Right now, we will spray them on Benny, Ooh. and uh, he will say what is his favorite, but he actually wanted me to spray them on him, so yeah. that's what we do. And I'll tell you that they have pretty great, whoa, good sprayer, pretty good performance. And that sprayer is good because even the one spritz distributes fragrance really well, so you don't have to mm. apply much. And they are pretty long lasting. So, uh, what, what's, one second, is there something like leaves inside? Yes. Or, uh, uh, it, it's very green and a little bit floral, and I think this was the one that I didn't like because what a I fantastic think notes. I, I, I smelled the dry down earlier on you. Might it be? Yes, it might yeah, be. Yeah, it might be. Okay, I can, can you give it. Yeah, okay. Okay. Oh, then, oh yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> so Benji loves... They are both good, yeah, but, but I really appreciate that one because I, I smelled it really intense in the car and it was so great and there were so much memories about my childhood with it. So Why so? Why? Because I was forced to go each Sunday to church. You were forced? Yeah, I was forced. I had to go. My mother said, you go! <laughs> And I said, no, I don't want And she said, you have to. I said, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. okay. And that reminds oh, you of that That time. reminds me of, of, of church. Yeah, it's a little bit, I don't know, maybe there's also patchouli, myth, um, myrrh. Myrrh, sorry, not myrrh. <laughs> and it's, it's, it's deep, churchy, great smelling perfume. I, 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 I think it's the first perfume of that kind that I really appreciate. That's crazy! That's what I said! Yeah? Yes! Okay. So that means something. <laughs> and you guys, this fragrance is warm and it's so... Yeah. Oh, it's also oh. a little bit spicy? Right? Yes, mm? it is spicy. Oh. Cinnamon? Mm, something like that. Something like that. It smells like cinnamon. Ooh, oh, on you! Yeah. Yes! Delicious! Mm. There is a week yeah. um, in Eastern and it's like a celebration and it's in Malaga. So it smells like... Uh, Burned oh. incense on the streets oh, oh, okay. of Malaga, I and they, they are burning it to 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 get out all the ghosts. I think maybe yeah? yes. This might be sure. a, a lot of. Uh, and do you know what I thought this. about? Um, no. In Spain, they are Catholic, if I'm not wrong, and you are Catholic too. I'm Catholic, so and I'm not that, sure if in Spain they're Catholic, but I think so. Yeah. Yeah. And Spanish Inquisition. Yeah, yes. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For example, uh, no one expects it, but. Um, and this yeah. perfume reminds me of holy water because it's like. Um, fresher than this one. So it's yeah. holy smoke, it's holy water and you guys, I love them. Benny apparently loves them too, which is like a double compliment. It, they're okay, but I love this one. Okay, and you guys check out the official website. I have a special discount for you, so feel free to use the link below. And as I've said, they offer so many amazing brands that I have already reviewed on my channel and that I really want to review. So if there is something specific you want me to talk about, comment it down below and I'm looking forward to hear your feedback on today's video. And if you enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and uh, stay tuned. It's not good. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see each other soon. Bye, guys.